Hey guys, I'm Dory with the blog Dory Turner Interiors and today I want to share with you a comparison of two of the best machine washable rugs on the market. Ruggable washable rugs versus tumble spill proof rugs. But before I get into comparing these two brands, if you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. All the links that I mentioned in this video will be linked down below in the description box. Also, I want to give you my amazing free ebook full of 10 DIY projects that you can create for your own home. Get a copy by clicking the link below. Washable rugs are fantastic options for pet lovers and families with kids. I've owned both a ruggable and a tumble rug, and I want to take the time to show you the similarities and differences, and be sure to stick around to the end to see my overall preference for which rug. Also, I've linked the rugs that I have from both brands down in the description if you want to check them out. Let's start with ruggable rugs. Ruggable washable rugs come in two pieces, the top cover and the pad. You have to purchase the pad separately and they offer two options, the standard and the cushion pad. For my rug, I chose the cushion pad since I purchased it to use in front of my kitchen sink and I wanted a comfy surface to be able to stand on while I did the dishes. My rug and pad arrived rolled up, so when I removed them from the box, I had to flip the pad over and set heavy objects on either side for a day or two to get it to flatten out. The rug cover is thin and pliable, lightweight material, so it was ready straight out of the box. Once the pad is laying flat, you're ready to place the rug cover on. There is a trick to it because the pad is like a light Velcro. Start by rolling up your rug with the design side in. Then begin at one side of the pad, allowing the rug to extend slightly over the edge and roll the rug cover over the pad. This can be a little tricky because you can get off if you aren't lined up right in the center with the rug. So you may have to unroll it and roll it again just to make sure that you get the cover on straight. Tumble rugs work a little differently. The pad is included in the price of the rug. The rug and the pad arrive together in a slim cardboard box. The rug pad comes in square pieces that fit together snugly like a puzzle. I started by laying the pieces down in my entryway and fitting the tabs together. The rug is a lightweight cover that fits over the rug pad and is kept in place by pockets that fit easily over each corner. So let's talk about comparisons and contrasts so far. Both ruggable and tumble rugs are made of lightweight material that require a pad underneath. Ruggable offers two different pad options, the standard and the cushion pad, while Tumble only offers one option. Both brands have a non-slip grip on the bottom of the pad to keep the rugs from sliding around. The rug covers attach to the pad to keep them in place. Ruggable pads use a Velcro to keep the rug in place on the pad, while Tumble uses corner pockets to fit them over their foam pad. The ruggable pad is not included in the price, but the Tumble pad is, which makes Tumble's rugs more affordable. As of this filming, on average, an 8x10 tumble rug costs around $350, pad included. An 8x10 ruggable rug goes for around $490 with the standard pad and $590 with the cushion pad. So there's quite a price difference there. And I'll let you in on a little trick. Tumble does have the option to purchase the rug cover separately if you don't need another pad. Simply email their customer service with the rug that you would like to purchase and let them know that you only want the cover. They will send you an invoice with the cost of the rug cover only, saving you money. Now let's talk about why they are thought to be the best washable rugs on the market. According to their site, ruggable rugs are stain and water resistant and can easily fit in your washing machine. Tumble rugs claim that they are spill proof and also machine washable and can also fit easily in your washing machine. Let's test this. I'm going to pour a glass of water on both rugs to test the water resistance of ruggable rugs and the spill proof technology of the tumble rugs. Let's check it out. As you can see, the water begins to sink into the ruggable rug, whereas the water on the tumble rug sits on top and you can easily wipe it away. The water sits on top for a minute on the ruggable rug, but it does eventually sink in. Whereas with the tumble rug, it sits on top and you're able to easily wipe it away. It doesn't sink into the rug. So you can see the difference between the water resistance versus the spill proof technology of the tumble rug. Now let's talk about the washable claim. I'm not going to go over how to wash a ruggable rug because I cover that in this video here. I also cover how to wash a tumble rug in this video. You can check out both of those later. Both rugs can be washed and cold in your washing machine with a mild detergent on the gentle cycle. 
Ruggable allows several options for pre-treating stains before washing, while Tumble just recommends that you wash the rug with the stains facing outward. Fabric softeners are not recommended for either brand. Since both rugs are made of a lightweight fabric, all of the sizes are able to fit in most standard size washing machines. If you're not sure if the size that you want will fit into your washing machine, be sure to check out the site. I will link that below so you can check that out. Once the rugs are washed, they can both be dried in a low heat setting in your dryer. Being able to wash these rugs is so fantastic. Both my Ruggable and my Tumble rugs have been done, have done beautifully in the washing machine. And with three kids and a dog, this is a game changer for us. Now a few things that I would like to mention. Be very careful with the dark liquids like coffee on a Ruggable rug. Some friends of ours purchased a Ruggable, a large Ruggable rug for their living room with a white background. And shortly after they purchased it, they accidentally spilled coffee on it. Even though they pre-treated it right away and put it in their washing machine, the stain didn't come out even after multiple washings and they were so disappointed. So if you buy a light covered background rug, just be careful, mindful of that when you are drinking or eating or anything like that. Another thing that I want to mention is that tumble spill proof coating will begin to fade after a few washings. So I found this out a little late with one of my tumble runners. I didn't realize that the spill proof would fade and so after about the third washing of my tumble rug, the spill proof coating was no longer effective. So you really want to use washing sparingly with your tumble rug if you want that spill proof coating to last. If you're able at all to just wipe it up with a cloth, then you want to do that. Overall, both Ruggable and Tumble are great options if you're looking for a machine washable rug. And while Ruggable has more options as far as patterns to choose from, and they're even branching out into bath rugs and furniture and things like that, Overall, my pick for a washable rug is Tumble for a couple of different reasons. Number one, they're more affordable. I like the option of being able to switch out my rug with the seasons or just when I wanna change out my decor. And Tumble makes that a lot more affordable with the rug included in the price or then also the option of being able to only purchase the rug cover when you contact their customer service. And their rugs in general are more affordable than ruggable rugs. The second thing is that I really do love that spill proof feature. Not having to wash my rug every time somebody spills something on the rug is very nice. It saves me time and energy, so I really like that feature. The other thing I don't love about the Ruggable rug is the Velcro padding. It can be difficult to get the rug lined up correctly on the pad and to get it to roll out and line up right, and you might end up having to redo it several times before it lines up correctly on the pad with everything fitting on it just right. And so. With a tumble rug, you're able to just go and fit it over and tuck the pockets over each corner and you're done. Where with a ruggable rug and the Velcro, you're having to be careful to line everything up to make sure it matches and you don't have the pad showing. I hope this compare and contrast of ruggable and tumble has been helpful. As always, feel free to ask me any questions in the comments and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Up next, if you have carpet, I have some great tricks on how to clean dirty carpets to get them looking brand new again. So I will see you over there. Mm -hmm.